Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm here to plan an entire week in my daily plum paper planner. I started using this planner July 1st of 2020 and have not looked back. It is absolutely the perfect daily planner for me. I love the size, I love the coil. I don't love the paper, but I found a pen that I love on the paper and it has become a staple in accomplishing my goals every single day. I've had a lot of requests to show how I plan in this planner. And the hard part about it is I plan every day. I don't plan an entire week in advance. I usually plan or I try to plan the night before, but sometimes I plan the morning of and I do that once a day, every single day. And I did create a video last summer where I planned every day in my plum paper and combined it into one week long video video and that is what I am here to do again. Now that we have moved and I have my own office space and leaving out the filming equipment for an entire week every single day so I can film a snippet of my daily planner is so much easier than it was in our small one bedroom apartment. So I'm just here to kick this video off starting on Sunday night maybe Monday morning, I am going to plan every day in my daily plum paper planner for a week and combine it for this whole video. Okay, first up is Monday, March 29th, and it is technically already Monday, March 29th. I do like to do my best to plan the night before, but it doesn't always happen. Sometimes it happens the morning of, and yesterday was just one of those days. So first things first, I have this sticky note that I started last week where I just started jotting down ideas or task things I wanted to make sure that I got done this week. Some of these things I will move into today's to-do list, and some of them I will just do later in the week, and I'll just keep moving this sticky note until I've kind of exhausted it and everything is done. So the first thing that I'm going to do is change some of the headers. I realize actually this is the perfect week to be filming this because I'm actually switching into a different planner halfway through this week. I ordered a new one that starts on April 1st and I won't have to change these headers anymore. So I changed the one at the top to memories. A, a top three just ended up being too much pressure for me. Um, I was mostly either putting something in there that was for sure gonna get done, so it felt super redundant, or I was putting something that really, there was no way for it to get, I mean, there was a way for it to get done, but then I would feel unsuccessful when I didn't. So I decided a top three is not for me, so I moved the memories up to the top because I wasn't doing a good job when they were down here at the bottom, and then I just started putting a quote here at the bottom. So let's start with the today section. So this section, I've mentioned this before in vlogs or in the last time I did a video like this where I planned every day for a week. This is the section that is time blocked in my Google Cal. So everything that gets put here, it is in my calendar and barring any unforeseen circumstances, everything that I put over here has time to get done. So I forgot to mention that my favorite pen on the Plum Paper Planner paper, say that 10 times fast, is the Sharpie pen, like the actual Sharpie pen, not a permanent pen and not the Sharpie S gel with the click. I'm using the fine. I know that there is a thicker one. I haven't tried it out yet because when I tried a thicker of another pen, I ended up not liking it, even though I do like thick pens, like the Paper Mate Flare is my favorite pen. It just doesn't dry fast enough on this paper. So this is the pen that I use. And then I love these zig dot markers to make the little to do dots on my planner. So what I do over here in the today section is I basically break it up between before work, lunchtime, and then after work. So before work is my AM routine, which I've already done. And then that's pretty much it. And, and filming this little clip. Uh, normally I like to get up much earlier. If you've watched any of my day in the life, so I like to get up early and work out and do lots of things before work. But I stayed up way later and then intended to last night and I prioritize sleep. So today it is only my AM routine. And then I went ahead and planned out my week in my Google Cal. I had to do that before I could move into planning my day and then this, planning my day. So those are the three things that I'm getting done before work. Okay, and then during lunch today, I'm going to do a couple admin things and then I need to kind of tidy up and vacuum the apartment. Um, we built some furniture yesterday and so there's a bunch of little like styrofoam pieces around the apartment and I just didn't, by the time we were done, I didn't want to bother our neighbors downstairs with the vacuum. And then after work, things are a little bit different than normal. I'm headed up to our old apartment to let in the cleaning service. I'm having a professional move out clean done on that apartment. So I have to go up and let them into the apartment and then I'm gonna head to a coffee shop or like a restaurant and just sit outside nearby and get some work done while they clean and then go back and lock up the apartment. So I'm gonna put that the cleaning service is starting at 5.30. I have to leave here like 
pretty much right at five. And then while they are cleaning, I have a couple of things I need to do. So I'm just gonna put them like this. I need to do a couple of special projects actually that I'm working on. So I need to do this. I need to do prep work for a VIP day. And then I need to finish my content plan. Um, if you watched that day in the life, I didn't quite get to everything. So I need to finish up some Instagram stuff. And then when I get back, I need to do my PM routine. I'm really, that's still a very much a work in progress. If you watch my AM routine video, I've got that nailed down. My PM routine, I am still working on. Um, and then that's it so far. So let's see which one of these, which ones of these I'm gonna move over. Um, I definitely need to get that RSVP in the mail. Um, honestly, I have no idea what this is that I wrote. What is K and J? I don't know. Um, I put some of these things on there. Maybe the texts. Oh, I've totally forgot something. I also, while I'm sitting at the restaurant, while they're doing the cleaning, I want to do my communication routine. So let's just go ahead and do it this way. And I think that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this on tomorrow and I will see you either later tonight or early tomorrow. All right, it is Tuesday morning and this is the state of my planner. I'm again planning in the morning. This time it's mostly because of the natural light. One of the best parts about being in my new office with my big windows is that I don't have to pull out the lights to film videos during the day. And so when I went to plan yesterday, it was like 8 p.m. or something, and I was like, well, I'd have to pull out the light, so I'll just do it tomorrow. So I think I'm kind of doing a test this week where I will plan in the morning every day this week and see how it feels and really just doing it because of the light. But if it feels like it's working for me, that might become my new norm. And then I won't feel guilty when I don't plan the night before. Um, so anyways, this is kind of how my planner ended up yesterday. Um, let's see. I did this. I did this. I did this. And this, and this. I did some of this. I'm going to check it off. Um, I need to think about some of the memory. So some of these to-dos will be moving over to today. So let's go ahead and get started with, let's do that first actually. Let me just go ahead and move over all of the to-dos that I didn't get to yesterday. Okay, and then this morning, once again, I kind of slept in today. Um, I did not sleep well. So just getting my AM routine and filming this is all that's gonna happen before work. I mean, I already did my AM routine and now um, this. I, I was writing get ready in my planner as well, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's really necessary, necessary to write in. Okay, during lunch, I need to run a couple of errands. So I need to run by the UPS store because I actually got a UPS box. If you didn't see that update on Instagram, I went ahead and invested in a UPS box so that I could have things shipped to me safely without giving my apartment address away. I used to have everything shipped to my office. I felt safe doing that, but obviously now that we're not at the office, I've been giving my home address away and I don't like that. So I decided to go ahead and get a UPS box. Um, if I'm not gonna leave it listed in the description of every video. If you are interested in sending something, please feel free to send me an email and I can share that with you. And then I also have to run by the actual post office just to drop off some stuff that I am shipping out. And then that's all I'm gonna make plans for during lunch. I really would love to get more towards a world where I actually like relax during lunch and don't do errands or tasks or work on my business, but I just, I'm not there yet. Um, all right. And then after work, I'm going to do the communication routine. I'm going to cook dinner and then we have our silent co-working. So one of the things I started in February with, um, our Patreon community is a silent co-working session. Actually in March we are doing two and then I'm doing two in April as well. And it is just where we hop on zoom and work for a set period of time. It's almost as if we are all in a virtual coffee shop together. So we have our co-working session tonight and what I am planning to do during the session is prep Friday's video and then finish up the content stuff that I didn't finish yesterday. There's one other thing I'd like to work on, but I don't think I'm gonna have time, so I'm not, I'm not gonna put it down there. I might put it over here in the to-dos, that way if I do have time, I can get to it. But th again, this section is meant to be things that are time blocked and can get done during that time. And then after that, it's just my PM routine. Go ahead and cross this off. 
write memories. I'm gonna be really excited in two days when I don't have to do that anymore. I'm gonna cross this off. And that is today. All right, it is Wednesday morning. I actually got a lot done yesterday. Like the only thing I didn't get done was the content and that's because I decided to do my PM routine during the co-working session, which also meant that I got to go to bed much earlier and start reading a new book and I got really far into it. So that was really awesome. I also finally remembered what K and J stood for and I did that. I actually checked off a lot of things on this list as well and I just, I feel really good about yesterday. So let's go ahead and move on to today, which is Wednesday. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and jot all of these to-do list items. I don't know that I'm gonna do all of them today, but there aren't that many left. And I just am sick of moving the sticky note around. I'm sick of looking at the sticky note with its cross off. Why the heck did I use a sticky note that's got little check mark spaces and then cross it off? And it just makes it look um, messier. And so I want to just write them all down. Even if I don't get to them all today, I can always move them to tomorrow. Go ahead and cross off here. This is the last day in this planner. And then we will be moving into my new one tomorrow. We'll be switching colors not using this purple marker anymore. So let's start with the morning. Uh, I went ahead and did my AM routine and then Sam and I went for a walk, which was really nice. Sam normally doesn't get up that early to do anything before it's time to get ready to eat breakfast and work. But last night he was super tired and so he came to bed much earlier than normal and then he was up and he was like, do you wanna go for a walk? I was like, yes. So that is what we did and then this is what I'm doing now. It feels a little redundant to write down the things I've already done. I think that's maybe one of the things that holds me back from planning in the morning is that I know I'm gonna write in things that I already did. And then if it's already written there, I'm more likely to do it, right? If I write workout the night before, then I'm more likely to do it. I don't know, I'm still, I'm still so torn. I clearly can't figure that out. All right, during the day, I definitely want to do some laundry and then I need to, f I need to finish the content stuff. That's what I'm gonna do during lunch. I'll probably start the laundry earlier than lunch. Now that we have laundry in unit, it makes it so much easier, but I'm just gonna put it in this middle section. And then tonight, I am getting my second dose of the vaccine. So I'm basically just gonna do my communication routine, and then we have to head up to the Bronx. That's where my, my vaccine appointment is. Um, I just, a month ago, over a month ago, when I was trying to get my first dose, that was the only place I could find availability. And so I went ahead and took it. And my first one was at like six something in the morning. And I thought that I scheduled my second one for 7.15 a.m. today. Nope, turns out it's at 7.15 p.m. So I have to go do that tonight and then come home, see how I'm feeling, hopefully um, have enough energy to do my p.m. routine and then just relax and go to bed. So that is what my day looks like today. All right. Well, this was either a really good week to do this or a really bad week to do this because it is actually Saturday and I missed two days in my planner because I got the second dose of the vaccine on Wednesday night and it totally took me out all day Thursday and about half of the day Friday. So I didn't end up using my daily planner on Thursday or Friday. And while that does take two days out of this video, it also is very realistic. There are definitely weeks that I will skip using my planner for a day or two and Sometimes it's because I know exactly what's going on and there are big things that take up most of my day. And then sometimes it's just because there are days that I am not productive and there are days that I just don't feel like writing down the fact that I spent most of the day watching Friends on Netflix. HBO Max, whatever, Friends isn't on Netflix anymore. So anyways, now we are in my new planner. So we are in April, which moved on to this peach color. I don't love this peach color, but that's fine. I guess it's it's nice to have a fresh new color. So Thursday and Friday, I'm just going to leave blank. I might go back a little bit later today and fill in some memory, some thoughts, um, just to have for when I go back and memory plan in my Moxie Life Vertical Planner. But for now, we are going to go ahead and flip to today, which is Saturday the 3rd, and get that planned out. Because I do work a full-time job, I do typically have stuff both for the house and for my business to do on the weekends. But I also don't think I could ever be someone who did absolutely nothing for the entire weekend. I mean, maybe every once in a while, but definitely not every weekend. So what I did last night, just in super messy handwriting before I went to bed, is jotted down some of the things I wanted to make sure I got done this weekend, just so I wouldn't forget. It's just kind of a brain dump before I went to bed. I was finally feeling much better by yesterday afternoon. 
Um, but I decided not to push it and do a bunch of stuff yesterday. I tidied up a little bit around the house. I did one load of laundry and then just kind of spent the evening reading and relaxing to just give my body the last couple of hours to rest um, and then got a good night's sleep and here we are. So Saturdays and Sundays, I the my favorite thing about the weekend is I sleep in. I don't set an alarm and I sleep in on the weekends and then I'm very lazy as I go about my morning routine and I always just let myself like read for as long as I want pending I don't have anything scheduled on Saturdays or Sundays, which most of the time I can just do that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put that, I wanna do my AM routine, that way I can check it off. Oh wow, excuse me, can I help you? All right, this peach is a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put a dot for AM routine and that I showered. I was finally able to lift my arm above my head this morning and wash my hair and it felt really good because I have not been able to lift my arm the last couple of days. So I did those two things already this morning and I read for a while and just kind of relaxed and now it's time to get started with my day. So the first thing that I'm going to put in my planner, which is not it's not all gonna get done before some of the other scheduled things and you'll see, but the reason I'm putting it first is so that I start it before the scheduled things. So the first, the thing I need to make sure I get done today is prep the rest of the videos. If you watch my day in the life from last week, I have an editor now, which is amazing. And so I filmed last weekend and then she edited all week. And so this weekend I need to do the rest of the prep work. So the description box, the thumbnails, all that stuff, I still do all of that. All she does is takes the raw footage that I filmed and edits and uploads it to YouTube and then I do all of the prep work. So that is what I need to get done today um, for the for three of the four videos for April. This is one of the other ones and that one's obviously not done yet. So I'm gonna do the other three videos. Um, and then I need to get ready and then I'm going live at 11 a.m. since I did not get to go live earlier this week. Um, so I know that prepping all those videos is not going to get done before the live because it's already about 9.30, but I wanna make sure I do at least one. That's why I'm putting it before. And then after I go live, I'm going to do some measurements and then I'm gonna head to TJ Maxx. There's just a couple things that we need, like little knick-knacky type things, little containers or trays that we need for some spots in the apartment. Um, I know this isn't gonna be my last trip there, but there's just some spots that I really, I really wanna get some things. So I'm gonna measure a couple spots and then I'm gonna head to TJ Maxx. While this, the Lattes with Lakin takes a little bit of time after I chat to, to like finalize upload. So then after I get back, I'm gonna do the Lattes with Lakin like post-production stuff, which is the description box and all of the adding links and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then also I'll finish prepping the videos at that point and then we're going to dinner with some friends. If I do have some extra time between like the Lattes with Lakin post-production and prepping the videos before we go out to dinner, I might fill it in with some of the other stuff on my list, but I kind of looked at the list and it's pretty realistic that I could get the rest of it done tomorrow and still have time to relax. So honestly, if I have some extra time, I might just read and hang out, relax. Um, that's, that's, that's something that I do struggle to do on the weekends, but I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't have any idea how long it will take me to prep the videos until I have an idea, obviously, but you never know, you never know how long it's gonna take. And then I have a couple other random things I need to make sure I do today. I need to email the landlord. And then I also like to try and do my communication routine on the weekends. I don't put it in my actual schedule because it doesn't have to happen at a certain time. And if I don't do it, the only one that I make sure I do on Saturdays is respond to my Patreon text. But if I don't do the rest of the routine, Instagram DMs, comments, all those things, I'm okay with it. If I don't get to those on the weekends, the text is the one thing. So I put that in this section because this is the doesn't necessarily have to get done today section. And this is the all the things that I can and want to get done. So we can go ahead and check these two off. So that is how my Saturday is shaping up. All right, here we are the last day of the week. I got basically everything I wanted to get done yesterday except some Instagram stuff. Dinner was fantastic. And I got everything else done. I feel pretty proud of that. So now moving into Sunday, same thing. Totally slept in today, relaxed, drank my coffee. Already did my AM routine, but I wanna write it down anyway. Let me know down in the comments. Are you someone who writes down things in your planner after you've already done them? I feel like this is one of those weird things I'm trying to figure out. This week, I didn't plan until 
8-ish during the weekday because that's when it would light out. But I think what I'm going to try going forward, and I'll let you know how it goes in a vlog, I think I am going to try to plan in the morning, but I'm going to do it as part of my morning routine. So it's going to be dark outside and I'm going to do it like sitting on my couch instead of like formally sitting at my desk. That way I'm kind of writing a routine as I'm doing it, not way after I'm doing it. And I'll write down workout before, before I actually do it. That's the part I feel like I am way more likely to do it if I write it down before. Anyways, so I have a couple things that I wanna make sure I finish up today around the apartment. So we're just gonna put apartment stuff. And then I think I'm just gonna, instead of doing a bunch of dots, because I feel like I'm gonna keep thinking of things, I'm just gonna make that list over here. So I know I need to clean out the fridge and then I want to make a meal plan. I'm not going to the grocery store today because I am not dealing with Trader Joe's on a Sunday. Um, I want to vacuum just because I really, spelling the word vacuum is one of my least favorite things. I don't think that's right. I think there's only one C. That's all right. Spelling is not my forte. I was a math major. I don't know if this is really considered a apartment thing, but I want to make the protein balls. I talked about those in my last quarterly favorites video. I want to do some laundry. That's the other thing I want to make sure that I get done some laundry today. All right, and then I also need to make sure that I plan this upcoming week and my Google Cal, and that includes my April goals. I haven't actually put them in my Google Cal yet, and I need to make sure that I do that. Um, and then those are kind of the like definite things I need to get done. Everything else that I had on my iPad list, if I get to them today, great. Uh, but I don't really know, Sam I know wants to build some furniture. I don't really know what else is on the docket for today. So I am gonna put that list on a sticky note so that I have it in case I do feel like doing it or Sam starts doing something else and then I get around to it. If not, then I'm just gonna do it next week and it's all things that are okay to get next week. These are the things that I'd like to get done today to feel prepared for the upcoming week. Actually, there's one more thing. I need to do my workout plan for the upcoming week. And then that's really it. If I do these things, I will feel very prepared for the upcoming week. So that is going to be it in my daily plan with me for a week. If you liked this video, if you thought it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday focused on helping you achieve your goals. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Nope. On paper, paper. Blah, blah, blah. Why can't I talk today? The, the, whoa, if you didn't see that upgrade, upgrade filming from filming, that's not what I meant. On, thir on Thursday? I, uh, there, uh, blah, 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 blah. super messy handwrite, burp, 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 burp. super messy handwriting, handwriting, what's it gonna be? TJ Maxx has two X's, doesn't it?